for tuning in. This is TD9. And today we're going to be talking about Spyderco knives. Quality at an in inexpensive rate. So we have two Spyderco boxes on the table. They both look the same. But we have... This one right here is going to be your Spyderco Tenacious and it's in blue and there's the serial number for you on that guy and then we have the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and that's in the digital cam Spyderco Paramilitary 2 in Digicam versus Spyderco Tenacious in the blue why pay an extra hundred dollars for one or the other and the Spyderco Tenacious Let's open up the box here. So you're going to get your knife in the plastic bag. You're going to get your Spyderco product information and your warranty guide. And then it's going to have the padded box. On the paramilitary 2, you're going to get you're going to get your blade and a plastic bag and this plastic bag is a little bit less grade of plastic. It's probably just because you need a bigger plastic bag to hold a little bit bigger of a blade. And then you're going to get your warranty product and new information. And if you notice, this is just on a printed piece of paper, where in the Tenacious it's on more of a black uh, plasticized paper. And then you're also going to get the same box with the uh, padding on the bottom. Alrighty guys, let's take a look at the difference between both of the blades. So this is going to be your Tenacious knife in the blue. And with the Tenacious, you're going to have a noticeable smaller lanyard hole than the Paramilitary 2. So that's going to be this right here in the bottom. And one of the big differences between the blades, and this will throw a lot of guys off of the purchase of the Tenacious, is the fact that the Tenacious is going to be made in China. And if you can see right there, it's going to say China in big letters right there at the bottom of the blade. And on the Tenacious, you're going to have a gypped liner lock right there. And it's got a really nice textured jipping right there across your liner lock. Pretty nice. And the blade length on the Tenacious is 3.39. And the blade steel is the 8CR. 1-3 MOV which this blade steel can rust on you if you do not care for it so it's not gonna want to be something you bring back camping or you get water on it and you don't care for it at the end of your trip you just let it sit and it's gonna get some rusting on it so you're gonna want to take care of that the overall weight on this knife is 4.1 ounces it features a skeletonized steel on the inside and it has a six point pocket clip so you can put it here down there as it is up there and also on the bottom this blade comes pretty sharp right out of the box so no need to sharpen but if you want to hold a better blade you can sharpen and along with that steel it's not going to hold as nice of a blade but you can sharpen it and it is pretty sharp out of the box so it does have a G10 handle and overall what I would rate this for a Spyderco knife I'm gonna give this 8 out of 10 stars and they retail anywhere from $59.95 all the way up to about $75 depending on the color you get so the blue is gonna cost you a little bit more with the satin finish let me give you another look at that. So you have the jipping 
on the back spine. You're going to have the leaf shaped blade, a little bit lighter of a spider image right there on the blade. You're going to get the smaller spider hole, but it actually makes it a little bit easier to flip out. So that's your Spyderco Tenacious in G10, and that's the blue. Alrighty, so why pay more for the Spyderco Paramilitary 2? Well, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, first things you're going to notice is your spider hole is going to be a little bit bigger. And this is for military application and in-home. So if you're wearing your shooting gloves, you're wearing your tactical suit. You can flip that open real easy with a nice pair of gloves on. Where the Tenacious is going to be a little bit harder to get your finger in there to flip that open. You're going to have a larger linear hole on that. So you can put more applications attached to your blade. And then one of the really big turns on on this knife is it's completely made in the United States of America. And it's going to say that right there on the back. It's going to say Golden State, United States of America, Planet Earth. The blade length on this is 3.438. And the blade steel is a really, really nice blade steel. It's the CPM S30V. So this blade steel is not going to rust on you as easy so you could get this guy wet and you if you didn't clean it it's not going to rust right away on you the overall weight on this is 3.75 ounces and this guy is going to also have the six point pocket clip so you got it again there at the top on the bottom as it is on the top and on the bottom and both of these blades were set up for right hand use and a really big difference why this guy is going to cost you a lot more is the compression lock on the top of the back. So it's going to be this guy right here, which is basically like a backwards liner lock inside of there. And as these, as you work this blade in, this is the newer one, it gets easier and easier for your blade to drop with that lock. So it's going to be really good. And on the spine on this one, you also have the deep jipping. It doesn't feel as aggressive as it does on the Tenacious, but it does not, don't get me wrong, you do not slip. It's like more like of an elegant, really in detail jipping, and you have it lower there too. So there's no slip whatsoever, it feels really nice. On the other side, you can choke up on this one, as well as your Tenacious. It's just it's a lot bigger and easier spot to do that with. And this guy also features the Digicam G10 handle. But the big difference about this G10 is it really has a noticeable texture in the G10. So it's going to be just a really nicer gripping G10 than the Tenacious. I'm not really exactly sure why. But for some reason, the G10 varies from knife to knife. So the expensive knife is going to have a better G10 most of the time. You have a more detailed Spyderco logo on this knife. And on your pocket clip, it just overall looks better. And they use a better steel. This is also a skeletonized steel inside. And then there's a look at your Spyderco Paramilitary 2 in the Digicam. And I'm going to give this guy 10 out of 10. Just because the quality of this blade you cannot beat. Spyderco really did a really nice job with this one. There was an original Spyderco Paramilitary 2 that had some kind of a really big weird hump right here. And it was really hard to hold in the handle. But now they have it really, it's really looking good now, guys. So I'm going to tell you, this is the one to get. But if you can't afford paying the retail price of $174.95, and you can usually get these for about $110 to $130,
then go ahead and get the Tenacious if it doesn't bother you the fact of being made in China. It's a really good blade and there's a lot of options to get in the Tenacious. If you have a little bit more money to spend, you might as well get your Paramilitary too. And if you can afford to get both of them, they're very good, very quality knives. And Spyderco is really addictive. So watch out because you could break your pocket wallet on this one, guys. Alright guys, thank you for all my new subscribers. You guys are keeping my channel alive. And I'm also going to be visiting the Spyderco booth, uh, SHOT Show 2013. I already have my uh, interview plan set up with them, so I'm hoping to get a look at their new flip-up blade knife. And as always, stay shooting, guys. This is TD9. Pick up a new Spyderco knife today. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.